Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see about how to give a guest access to an user. So in the last video, we have explored about how to create a user and also setting up the access for that user to different resources. So if you haven't watched that video, please do watch because this video is just a continuation of that. Cool. So let's see how we can create uh, a guest user uh, using Azure Active Directory. So as you can see here, I'm in the show portal, so I'm just going to Azure Active Directory, similar to what we have done in the last video. So inside the Azure Active Directory, uh, you can go to the users. So in the users section, you can see what are the different users uh, for this particular uh, directory, which is Mr. Ktalks Tech Dev. So as you can see here, we have the uh, user called Ajit Kumar, which is the one which we have created in the last video. So the user type for uh, Ajit Kumar is a uh, member. So this Ajit Kumar belongs to this organization. So we have already seen in the last video an example of why we need a guest account. So let me explain the same example again. For example, if there is a, a organization, so consider Infosys, and for helping Infosys, there is a startup company called XYZ. So if the employees in that XYZ company needs to do a project for Infosys, so that XYZ employees should be guested in to the Infosys tenant, right? So you can create a guest uh, user account for the employees who are in the XYZ company so that uh, the employees can come to the Infosys tenant to do the work. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, so for that, we need to use this new user option on the left side. So if I click on this new user, the last video we have used this create new user for creating a user as part of this organization, but this time we are going to invite uh, an external user. So if I click on this invite external user, it will take you to this page. Uh, similar to what we have done in the last video. But this time the template that we are using is invite user. So before that, I have an account uh, who doesn't belong to any other organization. So what I mean by this is like, for example, I have an account called uh, kisho.rakesh53 at gmail.com. So consider this employee belongs to that XYZ company. So if I just click on this, click on switch directory, as you can see here, Let's consider this default directory as an XYZ company. So now that kishore.rakesh53 at gmail.com belongs to only this default directory and doesn't have any other organization listed over here. So now this kishore.rakesh account needs to be uh, guested to the other account, which is Mr. K Talks Tech Dev Tenant. So we need to use this Mr. K Talks Tech Dev directory for guesting the other user, which is kishore.rakesh53 at gmail.com. So that's a use case, right? Okay, so for that, we have to use the template called invite users. And firstly, we need to give the identity information. So first thing is giving the name. So let's give the name kishore.rakesh. And the next step would be giving the email address. So the email address would be kishore.rakesh53 at gmail. Dot com. Cool. So the next step would be giving the first name and the last name. So let me give the first name as Kisho and the last name is Rakesh. So now we have given all the identity information like the name, email address, first name and the last name. Now the next step would be giving a personal message. So these are some of the optional things that we can do. For example, once you fill in all these details and click on invite button over here, and email will be sent to this email address, which is the kishore.rakesh53 at gmail.com. And uh, once the user get an email to this email ID, the user can use that invitation to join into this tenant, which is Mr. Ktalks Tech Dev. So in order to send an email, you can uh, give a personal message, uh, come join our team. Um, yeah, so you can give any kind of a personal message just for them to I uh, easily identify what is this invite is all about. So now we have given the personal message. The next step would be assigning the groups and roles. So this is similar to what we have done in the last video. Uh, so for example, if I click on this group, I have a group for developers, which is called dev group. So if I click on this and click on select, so what will happen is this user kishore.rakesh will be added to this group. So this is really important, right? So this is very powerful because you can have multiple groups uh, per uh, job titles. For example, you can have a group for developers, you can have a group for testers. So what are the users that you are creating or you are inviting? If he's a developer, then you can add to the developer group, uh, similar to what I have done here. So once you did that, uh, when 
this user gets an email invite and when he joins the uh, tenant he'll be having access to all the resources uh, where this security group uh, I mean the dev group have access to which is really powerful right because in one simple click you are giving all the necessary access uh, to the user cool so now I have added the group and the next step is some of the information for settings and also uh, regarding the job info so this is like blocking the sign in but uh, the default is no we can go with the no and you can click on some of the usage locations and stuff but I'm not going to uh, fill in any details over here and also uh, you can add some of the job info for example if he's a software engineer you can give uh, a software engineer title and also the department and the company name and here the company name would be XYZ and if he has any kind of a manager or any kind of TL who belongs to this organization then you can add the manager as well so these are some of the optional things that you can enter so right now I'm not going to enter any of the details over here so what I'm going to do is now we have given all the information so I'm going to click on invite now an email is sent to this kishore.rkish53 at gmail.com and using that email he can join to this tenant Mr. K Talks Tech Dev so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back to so let's refresh over here so as you can see here I have got an email uh, from Mr. K Talks Tech Dev organization and uh, this user can join using the uh, invitation link so there is an option called accept invitation so I'm just going to click on this so now the user can accept the invitation so I'm going to click on this accept invitation and it will take you to the office 365 page so as you can see here now we are into the office 365 page so now what I can do is I can go to the uh, same Azure portal uh, using the kishore.rks53 at gmail.com as you can see here before we used to have only one directory which is the default directory uh, we considered this as an XYZ company so if I click on this refresh button over here and now this user can have an access to Mr. K Talks Tech Dev so if I click on this switch uh, directory so this user will be uh, landed to the uh, Mr. K tenant and if I click on the subscription since this user is given permission to the security group so he'll be having access to the subscription and also the resource group uh, where the security group got access to so if I click on this and uh, you can see all the resources that has been created under this resource group and this user kishore.rakesh53 at gmail.com has been guested again into the uh, Mr. K tenant and have access to all the resource group uh, since this user is added to the security group for the developers cool so I think now you have an idea about like how to guest a different user from a different organization and uh, if I jump back to the uh, user section so if I click on this users uh, in the Mr. K talks tech dev and right now you can see the new user uh, kishore.rakesh which we have created recently and the user type would be the guest cool that's it for today uh, please like share and subscribe if you really like the content and see you in another great video until then cheers bye